We met through TWA. His ex-wife and his daughter worked for TWA, mm. and, and I worked son. for TWA, mm. and, and, your, and David at one time. Yeah. And the whole time there, I had nothing but relatives who worked for TWA. So, <laughs> and there was um, an incident at work where they, um, I was at the time, I was part-time, and they decided that they wanted to lay off all the part-time people. So um, we went down to unemployment. At the time, we didn't have a union. And we went down to unemployment. And uh, basically, um, the unemployment said um, that um, they would have to pay us um, unemployment. Because they, what they did was reduce our hours to zero. Okay. And uh, they had something called a kit maybe contingency, I don't know what they did, but anyway, so they, they brought us back. But then we realized that um, this was not a really good situation. <laughs> so we kind of organized within ourselves and uh, airlines fall under something called Railway Labor Act, which is not under Taft-Hartley, it's a whole different, <laughs> totally different ball game. So under that, we did have a grievance procedure, which was kind of useless, but so anyway, we to a, um, a long process, we did manage to get a hearing in New York on the, the big guy in industrial relations, whatever they called it then. And um, three people were um, elected to go, and his wife was one of them, and I was one of them. And so we kind of, you know, had um, just met kind of through that those kind of mm -hmm. situations and um, and then he asked me out to lunch in 1971. Well, I was divorced, didn't I? Uh-uh, you weren't divorced. Well, I was yeah. close to it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me... You were divorced. 